sword and then just yell dick this is like bam is gonna vita is gonna immediately talk to drago about how lion sex works <laughs> I feel like that is a discussion for everybody. <laughs> uh, this is you gotta pull out the whiteboard we for that have one. Now turned into planet Earth. Welcome to <laughs> planet Earth. It is a wild and amazing country where the lions live and fornicate daily. What is this? And ever so right. A horned woman. Why? What is she doing? There? Oh my God! What is she doing? <laughs> also, did Vita turn into a girl lion? Yeah. That's necrophilia and bestiality. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I didn't want to say it earlier, cause you know I didn't want to you, imply you it. You don't know if she, you don't know if she's done any frisky stuff with that. I didn't. I just I'll implied it. Get it, cause it's frisky. Ah. All right. Well, uh, now I'm gonna have to cut this first <laughs> minute of the stream, the but it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. He the like we don't think we don't think he did anything with the doll, but it's let's be honest. I had no <laughs> idea you fucking started the stream already. Oh yeah, it's all good. Going to. It's all good. My my stream's actually rated mature anyway, which I think I need to change. But then I'd have to stop cursing. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't change that. Yeah, just otherwise I'll just have to have Michael sure. muted all the time. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> can't get a can't get a sentence in without his filthy fucking mouth. Look who's fucking talking. Just like during Overcooked. Fuck you. Yeah, that's Fuck what I thought. <laughs> Get it out of the way! All right, so uh, who would like to recap us? Not it. <laughs> uh, I'm going mute. So. Okay, so. Can't be me because I missed half the session. <laughs> okay. Um, if I remember correctly, the party went into the forest, ran in, found Gunther, but also. I uh, uh, saw, you know, a planned siege on anyone that was crossing. And, well, we didn't find, we didn't see Wedge, but, you know, for the most part, we found the weird doll very much on the side that we were heading. As well as they found Florence on that side, too. For the most part. Yeah. Anyone else? Mm. Any anything else I know? Uh, other than other than the fortune teller business? Yeah. We went to the fortune teller and then we went back to the um Gunter's tent and then loose. Gunter what? And all hell broke loose. And then all hell broke loose. Mm -hmm. uh, Vitza left Gunter's tent and left the car left our group and then Lola got disowned from our group for now. Then, um, then everybody else left Gunter's tent except for Florence, who stayed in Gunter's tent. And then I, then we talked. I we talked to Avitza, me, and Gemma, and Carly. Yeah, and Avitza and Drago had the doll, which was weird. We all thought. Um, and we talked to Avitza, and then we left. Went to Gemma and I went into Gem's tent. And I was journaling, and then we saw Avitza start to leave, and I was like, fuck. And so we left to follow Avitza. And we got caught. I didn't stealth, and then the other one stealthed poorly. I did not stealth. We should check on Clarence. You did a crunk. You actually made noises. Well, that you, I, believe, I believe we're surrounded right now. Oh shit, are we? Your, yes. I thought your people showed up and then we stopped. Yeah, like the people, yeah, the people uh, I was going over to, they showed up and surrounded us. In rip. But not like, I don't think it's malicious because it was planned that we were going to go over there, but. So you brought people who probably weren't in the agreement? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, who the fuck are these? Why'd you bring a bard? Not just one bard, two. Damn it. I always forget no, to hit the bard. Oh, right. Yeah. Jim's a monk. Oh, right, right, right. In the meantime, 
Mm, that didn't Jeez. work. There's some tidbits off screen that happened when involving Florence and her lovely familiar. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that stuff, I think, for the most part, it can be recapped via, you know, uh, chat log and whatnot. Yeah, I didn't know what happened with that. Yeah, no, fa- uh, no uh, you'll find out. Stuff. Oh, no. Careful, remember, don't reveal things that you're not supposed to know about, or... I said, uh, why not eventually? I'm just saying, you Alright. Oh, no. I know. Oh, no. Don't be messing... No, I'm just kidding. Um... I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was double-checking some notes I had gotten from peoples, because there's a lot going on in this campaign. There's a lot of characters, too. <laughs> yeah, there's but a lot of different stories that seem to be going on all oh, at the same time. Yeah, man. Oh, yep. Damn. At least four of us are here right now together. That is true. Which is, you know, new. Rare. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, all right, I'll make them appear. I didn't plan to make them appear over here, but it it it's easier this way. We'll go with. Which ones do we want? Ooh, I know what we'll do. Come, come on. Sometimes that dice roll is not the best, so... Six, five... Uh-huh. Uh, can you not be a little slut right now? <laughs> the answer is no. Still <laughs> in dice jail. But, uh, Lissa, are you still rolling? I was test rolling to see if the one has earned its way out of dice jail yet. The answer the was no. no. I'm almost choked to death, Alyssa. I, I mean, I can day. roll. Don't. <laughs> you don't get to roll until I roll and see if these people recognize me. <laughs> this is true. Heck, if she's making that roll, I'm making it. Everybody should always make that roll. I know it doesn't seem like it's worth it, but I can tell you, in all honesty, that two or three people have gotten some really interesting situations because of it. Gasikist the masochist? Gasikist the masochist! We have people in front of us, right? How yeah, there's... How many people we have in front of us? Uh, probably like ten-ish. Oh, shit. I don't want to roll ten times. So just... Oh, that's right. Here, that's, you roll five, you... I roll five. Okay. As I was going to say, you can do an average roll, but... I rolled three zeros. That's a hundred. Oh my god, they're making that to me! Jet Dice got me good, fam. They recognize me. That's good. And then when Axel's all like, nah, they don't know you. Hey, man, I never take back my mechanics. I just change them in ways that benefit me. For instance, for instance, they recognize you, but they could be your fucking arch rival. That's true. One recognizes me. Um, I rolled triple zeros again. Two recognize me. <laughs> I'm worried because this can't always be. Seven. The the third one doesn't recognize me. I'm actually always happy for this because this is getting rid of all the good rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Question: What would the DC be for me since I've been there longer? Uh, the DC on yours. Roll ten times. You roll ten times, Alyssa. We both roll ten times. Yes, she's she's wondering what her percentage is to actually know them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so sec. we're both rolling ten times. I mean, yes. if you wanted both, yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, I believe he knows him that much time, and yours is that. So you should have a fifteen percent chance, I believe. Are you born here? Born here? I've been here for a hundred and thirty years. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, the carnival is a come and go place. So you would know a lot of the longtime people, such as the people who run the carnival, stuff like that. I kind of like give it out to you, and they they kind of know you. They See, just nine, don't care. I should automatically know someone. <laughs> my my fourth one is the other, twenty-six. The other thing is this is a huge carnival. I mean, how many people did you already meet that you had no idea about? Fifth one is twenty-eight. Uh, 
anyway, with Six a 15, one. yours should be anything above an 85, is they know you. And of, I'm gonna give it to... 67 for my sixth one. Yeah, uh, no. I got, oh, I forgot to move one of them. Oh, I was uh, like, why are you even. Three of them recognize me so far. Nice. And I have three more rolls to make. All my rolls are done. I've got... My top three numbers are 62, <laughs> 69, and 96. All right, so the 96 definitely knows you. Anything over an 85 would know you. Okay. Are we supposed to still be on the tent map? Yeah. We, we'd be a little bit out of the tent map, but we wouldn't be uh, at the, the other carnival. Map. Yeah. You'd basically be in this nice. alleyway out of town-ish area kind of here. Or sorry, gotcha. let me bring it over here. Which is also why they would corner you here, because obviously easier to do so. Oh lord, I just put people on top of people. Ah, no, that's fine. I'm, ah, gonna, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna let ah, you finish, right. and then I'm gonna put myself in there. Sorry, I'm just freaking I'm out right now. Finish. Basically, you're you gonna have a circle of people. We'll this. insert ourselves in the circle. Yeah, not gonna make that sexual, but you Three could. Recognize me. All right, so we got three and one, so that's four people in total. Yeah, and basically they just, you know, waited for you to get past and then closed in from around the shadowy parts of the tent. Because three of them recognize me. Jen's dice did so good. to get my d20 from her. Uh-oh. The watching people. But yeah, they uh, they stop you. Sorry, there would be this guy up in front. Do, 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 do. And he's, he says, Jim? Damn it, I keep forgetting that you guys can see those names. I mean, what? It's all right. It's my fault. I, I don't know why I forget that. I have to set them to do that. And I set them all to do that. And I don't know why I did that. Anyway, it's fine. T he's obviously a djinn. Everything's fine. It's, yeah, it's all it's fine. fine. It's fine. Uh, he says, "Who goes there?" I was asked by one of your men, I assume, to bring me and any of my people. We can talk to a uh, big man on the other side. Sorry, responding to messages, and uh, he says, very good, you'll follow me. My name is George. I am a genie. At least according to these backhill mongrels. Really, I'm a fire-breathing artist. And he uh, looks and says, so you're bringing them with you, then? I wave. Yes, they have uh, seemingly been intrigued and wish to follow along. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is that so? He's he's basically trying to intuit whether or not you guys are, you know, legit. Jem is standing there trying to look as intimidating as she can. All right, well. Waves and I said, I waved and I say, yeah, I think I recognize even three of you, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to do that. Damn you, Dice, where are you? We'll do... Boop, boop, boop. That would be... Am I not Four, no. there we go, I think. Or is it GMO? Ah, I always f that up. I found my notes. There we go. Oh, that's funny. 
What's funny? All right, so going in order on my rolls, you know, uh, whoever got three knows this person. I know the gin. <gasps> this yeah. person and this person. Okay. And I I know it, the I'm person so who the person who rolled a one knows this person. <laughs> and <laughs> we both know the gin. Yeah. Yeah. Standing there trying to look intimidating. <laughs> it's George, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, they, uh, he looks at you and he's looking around. He's he's like, wait a minute. I know you two. Hey. Is that is that Jem? And and don't tell me that that is Carly. Yes. Oh goodness, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you since you just started, and you since she just started. <laughs> In a while. See you again. It's good to see you again. Yes, I've been around. Fire breathing, you know. This the usual. Having an I added to the end of my official prefix. Damn simpletons. Regardless, you seem like good people, and your uh, creepy undead lion tamer also seems interesting, at least. Creepy? That's a lion. I'm not a lion. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> and that's creepy. <laughs> but, uh, good, pun. good pun. Good pun. I really wanted to be the comedian, but I, you know, fire breathing just came naturally. Maybe you could do both. Maybe you can enter in, in... Carly the Bard says the word I'm thinking of. Uh, in... Without fumbling it. What is the word? Intricate. Intertwine? Yes! Maybe you could intertwine comedy into your fire breathing. I tried. Too many people burn. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get it. Anyway. Let us uh, travel through the forest. We are hoping to have a nice, pleasant trip. But I will say, things are tense right now. Anything could happen. Anything at all. Ha! Huh, that was a pun! Everything is intense right now. Hashtag. Uh, yeah, yeah, he got it. Ugh. Oh, uh... Look, he told you he wasn't the comedy act leader. <laughs> Anyway, he's uh, going to uh, say, hey, follow me. Uh, we are going to need to leave people here in case of bad shit going down. Also, I have a bad feeling coming in the, from the general direction of your, well, our tent area, since the fire breathing is also in, in our area. There's actually a fire breathing area in both carnivals. Isn't that crazy? It's very popular. Yeah, the difference is on, on the other side of the carnival, they burn people, but it's fine. Uh, things happen. Yep. And Our now, burned down. yeah, now we can, uh, you know, make a trip to the next map. Oh, Lord, not what I meant to do. Ah! Oh God, I feel like the world is shifting. The whole world went bonkers. Why is this the even on this layer? But yeah, that uh, that always happens. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I borrow a couple of these guys. Leave it to the bard to uh, start the or to finish the song. To the forest area, which might look forest. familiar, but is totally not the same forest area. I swear to God. Cough. No, no. There's so many different forests. 
Yeah, absolutely. Boom. Actually, we'll just, just in case. There we go, and... All forests look the same. This time we're up at the top. It's trees. There, there are trees. No, oh, no, not the trees! There's some fucking dirt. Indeed. Please some grass. Good thing that stays in here. Right. All right. So they come through and they said, we must be very careful. We don't want to be spotted moving between the carnivals at this time of night right now. Oh, should we roll stealth? Yes. They also are oh. going to roll stealth. Oh. They will also roll Come on, Drago. I'm not going to lie. You probably rolled better than them. 22 for Jeb. 19. To, be, to uh, be fair, one of those one of those enemies is like a mammoth, so stealth, no bueno. Also, I need to readjust his size. Ooh. There we go. All right, Evita has 15, <coughs> and Drago has uh, 21. Do I have to roll two? That's a uh, good question. That is a good question. Oh, are you here? Not... Yeah, are you here with Vista, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, oh. Yeah, definitely. And I need to move this. I'm going to move this screen to the other one so I can see these damn things. I don't know why that is so tough. Or does my stealth go with whatever Drago gets? <laughs> um, or goes based off my old... It's a little initial. bit of both. So, like, yours goes off of yours and his. So, like, you have to have a good stealth, but if Drago's stealth is bad... I mean, technically, you could, like, hide on the side of Drago if you have really good stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I like on the underside just like where was the doll? I saw one no. <laughs> what doll? <laughs> oh, oh that doll didn't exist. <laughs> what are dolls? <laughs> oh my self was bad. It was a nine. <laughs> Does that mean we recognize it's not a doll? No, that would require you were actually looking into that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Someday I'll find out you're not a doll. <laughs> oh, I, I probably should have mentioned this at some point, but um, any stealth rolls that Diffie may have made during the last uh, campaign should have had an additional plus 10 to them. Oh, I forgot that they both got the mark. Because I used uh, uh, Merge with Stone on myself and Diffie. What? Oh. Yeah. You should have told her that because she was mad stealth rolling. Yeah, you rolled stealth yeah. and you almost, you almost fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. This is why communication is lay key. But it should be fine. Honestly, things developed in an alright manner anyway. Mm hmm. For the most part. If it's a cover for you. It made for an interesting plot twist. Yeah, it did. I rolled a 19 stealth, so I'm, I'm hidden. I'm hidden as fuck. It's pretty hidden. I mean, I don't know about hidden as fuck. I mean, I'm also jaded because I've been getting their this this guy's plus ten stealth rolls, but still, <laughs> goddamn stealthy bitches. They're like a, a stealth. Well, that, what? That dice set that gave me a five is going to dice jail. How dare? How dare it? Uh, but anyway, yeah, you were in the oh, forest. You should jail. be good to go for that. Um. Are there, like, spells you can do to make us stealthier? I say to the djinn. The djinn looks up and he says, that I may have some, but we must save them for a more important time. Damn. Yeah. He's greedy. 
He's greedy with his gin magic. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but anyway. Uh, in addition to this, obviously, there is uh, the regular forest stuff, and then blam, the mammoth gets shot with a trap. Specifically, a mammoth? A, yeah, right there. So I was a mammoth. Oh, oh, that's a mammoth? I had no idea what that was. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I've never I fought a mammoth way. before. The mammoth was so stealthy. Oh, I have. Even see it. You just hear out of the distant echo void. <laughs> What do you hear out of the void? I have. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the, the mammoth is shot specifically by a giant log trap, basically. But with a sharpened log instead of a regular log. Ooh. Yeah. Sharpened log so, trap. Uh, is it going to be okay? That's a good question. I need to go and look up the damage. Oh no. There's a lot of mm, traps. This is out of character. Have you rested yet? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I kept waiting for someone to choose to sleep. <laughs> uh, listen, we. I was planning on sleeping after I was journaling. But then a Vince of fucking left, and now I've got two spells. That was one your decision. Level, first level. <laughs> Me <laughs> meanwhile, Vince had, uh, you know, had a nice eight-hour period of uh, kind of chilling while she was resummoning. Fuck. It's and the freaking crossbow. It's okay. And the, fr the freaking dog carried around everywhere, so she's just constant in rest. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got all my spell slots. Ivica, Ivica will take care of you. I have one Until bardic inspiration left. Yeah, I have one bardic inspiration left. I've got all my cantrips, obviously. I've got one first level and one second level spell. So fucking don't need healing, basically. <laughs> Just don't get hit. But see, at least he got a lot of things. As a warlock, apparently you don't get that many things. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this does. So That's not bad. A bard. So great. you you see the, uh, the, the the log come out from the darkness, mind you. So really, it's mostly sound that you see this by, unless someone has lit a torch, which would reduce your stealth roll. But uh, yeah, you see and hear a very loud, wet smacking noise, and then hear. It. Um, Carly has dark vision. All right, it's well there you go. Yeah. So I see it all fucking Technicolor. Hashtag, I see all the dimensions as this elephantish creature dies in front of me. It's actually not dead, but man, is it bleeding. I see sounds. I can I hear see my sounds. hair growing. Uh, I mean... Ugh. Is, is, it, is it okay? <laughs> Can I pet it and make it feel better? I mean, I don't see why not. I okay. mean, I don't see why also it would work, but you know, I don't see why not. My comforting presence, damn. <laughs> it's like, God damn. Damn, I pet the mammoth to make it feel better. You're okay, I say to the mammoth. Does it calm down? Uh, animal handling roll, I guess? Animal handling roll. That's a plus four, bud. It's a nat 20. Oh, well, there you go. It, it, it continues to bleed, but uh, calms down. It's like, mm. <laughs> so maybe we should check for traps going forward, too. I say to the party while decidedly stepping back <laughs> I'm not in front it's like I was waiting for that one I'm like hmm who will be the first to you should have seen the one I might go up with a bunch of traps <laughs> but he deserved it horrible you deserved it okay I, I want to 
to stay back in the middle of the group, but I want to check for traps. While we go forward. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Do I have to be in the front to check for traps? I mean, generally, yeah. Oh no! I don't want to be in front! I don't have any healing spells! Uh, I'm going to... Kneel down to Drago, and with that, I will put, I will look at Drago, but I will put one hand on the doll, and I will say, can you go up ahead and maybe try and see if we have anything trying to halt our, our progress, so that both of them go up and check for traps. Okay. Make the doll do things. <laughs> I don't I don't think the doll is real, so I can't bardically inspire the doll, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> no. Yeah, just save it for a little something better than that, maybe. What would I have to roll again? Because I got a seventeen, I don't know what I'm supposed to add to that, but yeah. <laughs> Investigation, I believe. Uh yeah. I thought it was so. perception. Well, that's up to the DM. Well, either way it would be a plus one, because I have a plus one to both of those. So, 18. Excellent. Drago got an 8. Sorry, I got lots going on. I'll be right with the DMs and an 8. Alright, so looking ahead, you are able to see... I got an 18. That there is a similar trap right about here. With a, like, basic trip tripwire trigger. If that makes any sense. Be, I want to be like watching Drago to see if there's any kind of like change in him specifically about the traps. Like, does he notice the traps? Can I can I notice that? Mm. Well, when when the doll notices, what does she do? That's a good that question. That is fair. What does the doll do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I guess when she notices, she'll whisper to the, um, the lion to to show that there is a uh, wire there. Okay, then Drago will just kind of kneel down a little bit, sniff it, and uh, we'll just kind of like... Uh, or the, the, like the airport dogs will just lay down, <laughs> indicating. He, he lay down, is he tired? I whisper to Avitza. It seems our Drago has found something. The, the mammoth is just like bleeding profusely and the djinn is just shaking his head. But How close does a mammoth look to death? It's not that close to death. It's you, not close to no, death. No, it's just complaining a lot. Oh, okay. It's it's like hurt. It's for sure it's for sure hurt. I mean, like not to downplay its injuries, but it, it's gonna make it. <laughs> but it is it is so fucking calm from my twenty four animals. Yeah, it's super roll. calm though. But it's bleeding everywhere. I mean it's to be fair, any amount of bleeding from a mammoth would basically be bleeding everywhere. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Oh, also this guy isn't as big as he's supposed to be either. My bad. Oop. Oh, shit. Uh oh Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I thought gins were, were a little bit bigger. They are. I was thinking of some of the other elementals. Smaller gin based elementals, but yeah. Anyway. Large. Yeah, he's it's you do you think, right? But yeah, I don't know why. I wouldn't think no of him. Wonder. Same, yeah. But you know, think about G. No wonder he and, can't fucking stealth. Yeah, neither the him <laughs> nor the mammoth got good rolls at all. And then to not help matters out, that's a half ward. This guy actually did alright tonight. He was chilling. Are those the two I recognize? Uh you recognize this one. Actually the two guys I think that you recognize did not come with Oh, damn. Yeah. It must not like me. No, they don't really have a choice. 
Oh, that's fair. Yeah. They didn't get the pleasure of hanging out with me. It's true, but it's more of the they knew you because they're more familiar with that side of the carnival, so they're supposed to stay over on that side of the carnival and, you know, Oh, that's fair. Yeah, do stuff, yeah. I mean, fine, if you want to make it make sense. I know, right? God forbid I put logic and motives behind these people and their real actions, such as the fact that this knight cares deeply about that elephant and has raised it since a child. Sorry, mammoth, but, you know, elephant. So now, now he must like me a lot since I made it calm. I mean, he's much happier, but it's still bleeding. Listen, he doesn't know we have healing spells. <laughs> he doesn't need It's not what he's really worried about at the moment. Roy is worried about his mammoth Siegfried, okay? Be okay. Did you really, Axel? Yeah. Look, man, this is my tribute. I didn't make any note of it, but somebody did. Look, man, I had to do a, a tribute somehow. So is, uh, is anyone good at picking out traps and disarming them? It seems we have one ahead. Which was like, wait. Character. Out of character, what is that role? Where? There? Out of character, what is what now? Where? What is, what is the role to disarm a trap? Um, I believe sleight of hand? Let me double check. Some sort of dexterity. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, I am really good at sleight of hand. Decent at that. I'm very good at it. Out of character, it's a, in character, it's plus seven. Oh, she's better than me. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can find it. The Fuck it, I cast here. mage hand. That's perfect. I cast mage hand, and I say, bring him back over here in case something bad happens. <laughs> Do you bring your lion back over here in case something bad happens while I disarm this trap? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of like a kind of a bird call just so that people don't realize that it's actually a whistle. Okay, so that's what has, you can, there's a couple ones and I was thinking about that. So there's two checks you can possibly do depending. One's an intelligence check to, to know how to disable the trap. And then dexterity check to disable the trap. Yeah. Just straight it, dexterity? Yeah, it's pretty simple in 5e, whereas compared to 3-5, you actually had to have like a rogue or somebody, or just be proficient in that specific skill. Then what disarm. is the point of sleight of hand being plus seven? Um, stealing. Yeah, yeah. Stealing. Actually, there's a couple other things, but yeah, stealing. My dex is only a plus three. Oh, then I'm better than she is. Yeah. She has the mage hand. I do have mage hand. The mage, mage hand. Is because it, we're not going to be near it. Even if it does trigger it, we're not near it. Yeah. Okay. I use my mage hand and I try to disarm it. Okay. From, I think it's 30 feet away? Yeah, from about 20 feet away, I try to disarm. That's definitely going to be with a disadvantage. Oh, why? Because you're 20 feet away. I want to be far not to get got. I mean, I definitely feel that, but, you know, just for reference, try to go look at something 20 feet away, and then try to think about using your hand from there to actually do anything to it. And that's disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, that's 11? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a big fat no as the log swings wildly down and like smashes into another tree with a loud ass noise. Um, I mean, at least it wasn't us. But that's totally what I'm, totally what I meant to do. I mean, yeah, there, good, nice, yep. Yeah, it's, it's dealt with now. We, we don't have to worry about it, guys. All right, now I need to make. Oh, Carly, right? <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Go Carly. What did I do? Uh, we're uh, loud. That's what. <laughs> so well, loud. let's let's just say here. Uh, you'll see. You from 20 feet away disarmed a trap, made a very very loud noise, probably alerting anything in the forest to your presence, friendly and unfriendly. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Guys, I did so good. Like. Roy, I saved your lion. Or, uh, I saved your mammoth, Roy. Can I 
do a quick perception check to see if there's a tree that I think I could climb up if things go south. I mean, yeah. You can do perception check. Uh, Roy looks over and he's like, I mean, I appreciate it. I don't know if saved is the word, but thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> your mammoth is so fucking calm right now. <laughs> he's like, this, honestly, it might be better if he was freaking out. I think his, his, his shock is gone now. <laughs> He's now fully experiencing the pain. No, 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 he's fine. He's, fine. he's so fucking <laughs> He is so chill with this. Right now he is doing this whole hello talk. He's my old friend. Oh. He's so... He's 17 to scout any trees I can run up to hide. All right, like, that I know is... there's a lot of trees, but like climbable trees. This one's a nice climbable tree. For God's sake, Jem, check for traps before you go anywhere. Which one? This one. Okay. Okay, I got it. Are you sure you got it though? No, the two bubbles, three bubbles, constantly going around it now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to join in when I saw what was going on. I'm a follower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, natural born follower. Hashtag. Hey, natural born follower he is, says the DM. Look, the DM just follows the way of the dice. Kind of. Kind of. Hashtag I rule that which is the omni essence. <laughs> Lucky, this one. <laughs> Christ's sake, I love this group. Hashtag tree. Uh, can but I? Can I give a little look around and see if anyone's fucking coming for us? <laughs> yeah, that's a good smart idea too. Yeah, I'm just gonna look around and see if anyone's fucking like climb when necessary. Okay, y'all, 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 dude, y'all really need to enunciate that space between the L and the I because I thought that said come. God damn it! God damn it! I hate you guys. All right. Um, yeah, I, I fucking look around to see if anyone is emerging from the trees or whatever. That's a four plus. I am, um, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. How dare you? <laughs> Eight total. How dare you? That was my character. <laughs> That's an eight total. Done. I don't see shit. I'm so distracted by the cum that I saw across the forest. <laughs> there was cum we in the forest, I got distracted. It was just so wild. <laughs> oh, but it was having some wild forest time, okay? And I got a little distracted by it. Someone, oh. So this one can't get uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, it's fine. Uh, God, uh, yeah, shit. So, yeah, you didn't see anything coming towards you, as far as you can tell. No, I mean... Yeah, you're good. Yeah. It's fine. We're good. Yeah. I, I, I gesture to, uh... Is it getting loud in here? Like, Just the noise of people coming. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I gestured to Jam, and I was like, yeah, it made a loud noise, but nobody noticed it. But, at so which okay. point? <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me just a moment. I'm trying to find. I'm gonna teach you how to stealth. Uh, teach me how so to stealth. Stealthy. I was so fucking stealthy. You need to teach me more decks. Teach me more sweet flips. <laughs> Not wrong. I rolled a 19 stealth. It's true. But the the Sarming wasn't stealthy. Listen, I said it would be disarmed. Oh, I didn't far. say it would be self stealthy. I mean, I guess that's technically correct. Yeah. Bingo ni 
Vegeta. Because it's disarmed, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, we'll give you that one. Point Carly. Oh shit, I actually have Mordekins. I can actually do that for once. I forgot I had that. Thank you, me. I feel like I feel like he's preparing an encounter and I'm very worried about it. Nah, it's fine. Why? Someone Why? Cuz I chopped down a tree in the forest in the middle of the night. Why would I possibly prepare something so uh, you know. You know what? Bring it on. I want to fight. <laughs> I have no spells. We can't fight. You can do whatever you Man. want. You're fine. Um. So out of the forest. <laughs> Thank you. From nowhere, apparently. In a way that surprises everybody because they are, you know, on guard, but still this happened. What bitch? Where is it? Oh, come on. I know I have a model for this. Can I roll to see if it recognizes me, whatever it is? I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can. That's a 97. <laughs> it absolutely recognizes you. What is it? Your death. I can't tell what that is. Is it a raccoon? Yeah. Oh, it is a oh, raccoon. Oh, oh, trash panda! This trash panda recognizes me! Yes. Recognizes you, that, you, it recognizes you as its next target. Dun dun Three dun! Um, Never trust the animals he puts on the thing as animals. What? <laughs> Are you Never implying that I don't have real animals? <laughs> that mammoth named Siegfried is bleeding profusely right now. Is his real name Roy? No, his real name is uh, Jeff, but it didn't work for the act. It's not a very flashy name. Much like George the Genie. But they let him keep that because, you know, alliteration, but not real alliteration. George, 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 George of the Genie? I mean, yes. So, so this raccoon recognizes me. What does it do? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm gonna roll my D100 for motivations. Don't come at me, cause I only have 33 hit points and I'm a little baby. How do you have more hit points than the monk? Because I'm good fucking rolls. good at what I do. It's also about how you allot them points, yo. What? You probably rolled like crap to upgrade your hit points. That True. also hurt. That that I've terrible done at rolling health. I, I did real well. I did one character that had a one for the first three levels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he died before he got to the next level. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, yeah, because he he'll die if he fucking trips. See, I like this chair, but I need a damn rolls. Interesting. Huh, okay. I'll see. Interesting. Bonk. Oh, more Discord stuff. Alright, so there's that. Which we're gonna say is that. And then we're gonna do another one, which is. Roll the dice, goddammit! That. Uh, the, uh. Also, this is not my decision. I just want you to know that the raccoon squints at you heavily and then runs off into the forest. Definitely, see, because that root raccoon recognized me that I just disarmed that trap, it didn't attack us. Did I notice it being undead at all, possibly? No, not not an undead squirrel. Okay, sorry. It's raccoon, just going like a bog standard raccoon. I didn't say that. You just said I didn't notice if it was or wasn't. Yep. I also said it wasn't necessarily an undead raccoon. There could be any number of things wrong or different about that raccoon. See, guys, I saved a party again with my stunning good looks and graceful charm. Shall we continue? I'm not going to disagree so we can continue. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I do just so more quietly. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit to us. 
Oh, Jem's full on being salty about her being loud as fuck. Ah, it's fine. So fucking quiet earlier. <laughs> Then you ruined it. It's it's I the did, dice. No, it. Just let me the the listen, dice decide. Time, I say next time. Listen, you disarm the trap, then fuck. It makes makes a good point. Ooh, this one's not bad. And we should, we should fucking do it. Damn, we should re we should fucking roll stealth. That's a yeah. four. Yeah. Oh. So you <laughs> think you're really stealthy, by the way? You <laughs> think you are so four. stealthy? It's an eight. It's an eight total. Uh, I mean, hey, least... guess what? Evita got a four total. <laughs> a four total. Oh my god! And my and Drago's roll was a four. <laughs> so all of the rolls so far have been a four. What the fuck is wrong with you, loud motherfuckers? I Drago, what's four. what? Well, I 12. feel like twenty-one. Right, give me... Twenty-one. <laughs> there's a there's the one good one. All right, so there's that. So Oh, Vitsa hears me arguing with Jem and just part, starts fucking laughing. But literally, Jin just looks back at you. He's like, what the f is wrong with you? The bleeding, dying mammoth is, you know, quieter than you. And that's when Roy just chimes in. Well, that's just because he's so calm. Yeah, I've calmed him down so much. <laughs> away from these <laughs> fools because they're being loud. And yet they actually got, got a higher sleep. stealth roll than everyone but you. Or sorry, you meant your people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I I just disarmed that trap, and everyone seems to be forgetting that if, if we would have just continued forward, your mammoth would be dead. This uh, The orc turns around, and he's like, that's not how you disable a trap. It's disabled, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And he walks forward, and another spike log hits him from the side. Ooh, that was the half-orc? Yeah. Orc, I mean, yeah. That, yeah, the half work. Yeah, Ooh. that guy. Okay. I need so to make a roll need... real quick. One. Maybe we want to see that one. I'm gonna do something that the dumb person shouldn't do, and I'm gonna look for traps. <laughs> I'm confused as to how you people come over here, and we try to make it back, and you don't know about all these traps. To be fair, we came from the south. I rolled Why didn't eight. we go to the south? Why didn't we go to the south, bruh? I mean, we can still turn around. We can go back. I'm afraid if we go back now, there will be more traps. Also, these traps. Also, there might be something happening in the south. What's happening in the south? Well, we should talk about that when we get to the tent. I'm assuming it has begun. Yes. Not fully. But let's just say the South is a bad place. Then let us move. We do not know where we're going. You lead the way. We also might not fucking make it to wherever we're heading if we keep at it like this. Why don't you just tell me now? I say, persuading him. Persuading the genie. Ah, ah, I dropped my dice. Oh god. Where did it go? Hey, Diffy rolled a 19 on finding more traps. Oh, nice. So you found one here. Whereas I rolled a 20. You found one here, and then one right behind it. I got a 15 persuasion. Tells the lions to show where the other traps are. Uh, That's the lions, not 15. It's uh, 20. During oh, 20, okay. for persuasion. Looks at you and he's like, I can tell you it doesn't mean you'll know how to get there. It's it's in Degenerac's secret tent. Oh. Well, all right then, we should probably head out. Drago's laying down by the other two traps. I walk over and I say, you want me to disarm that one? You get one, I'll get the other? Okay. Mage hand it. Where's the first one? The one here, I believe, and then one here. Why no one decides to just go around them is beyond. <laughs> <laughs> the dolphin sir herself. <laughs> I've made I've made the decision. Mage hand the far one while Jem gets the close one. Here's the thing. Jem's not smart. 
I agree with this. Slide of hand, and I say I'm the smart or one. Dex. Straight Dex. And if you're proficient in thieves' tools and have them, I believe you can add proficiency. But how do I know if I'm perso pers if I'm that in thieves' tools? Uh, on D and D Beyond, there'll be in the your part saving throws on the left. Yeah, underneath saving throws, there'll be tools, and it'll show you. I'm not. I got Tinker's tools. Does that do anything? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Um. So Dex. That's, uh, 15. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I rolled a 13. Who's dexterous now, motherfucker? <laughs> Me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just standing, like, off to the, like, a little bit back from Carly. Or a little bit back from Jem, sorry. Um... And mage handing the far trap. Okay. Um, if you're standing back, did you roll a disadvantage like you did earlier? <laughs> Shit. Shit. I'm not standing 20 feet back. I'm not standing 20 feet as back. As long as time. you're not standing 20 feet back. I'm only like 10 feet back this time. I, I will... Okay. 10 feet is still a long ways. It, it is, but it's not 20. Here's the thing. Imagine holding a 20 foot pole. It doesn't really weigh much, but imagine holding it and trying to just, even just fit it in a hole 20 feet away. It would not be easy. Ten would do that on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, we know you know how to fit things in holes. <laughs> so should I be rolling at disadvantage? Uh, I think you're alright to not have disadvantage for this one. Radical. Then that was a 15, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was the first one again? Sorry. Gem? Thir 13 for Gem. 13. So that one is sprung, unfortunately, but the 15 one is not sprung. Oh, do I have, like, a reaction thingy? Reaction. And I have one. I say, he's dexterous now, motherfucker. As I watch it happen. Does this count as a missile? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> or <Orchid> shot. <laughs> fucking big missile. I fucking I try to take a step back, but bump into the half orc. That's what she said. Please <laughs> <laughs> get a deck saving throw out of this. Good dex throw. Go. Deck save. Go for it. I mean, this is the thing. You're trying to disarm it doesn't necessarily mean you're in the way of it. Most of the time. 18 plus 6. I can't do math. That's 24? Yeah, you should be fine. Am I... I like to think I'm far enough back from it. Yeah. I think you should be okay. You what? <laughs> Nothing. I kid. I was gonna say... Gem. <laughs> I turn to Gem and I say, I saw that look in your eye. Fuck it. Don't fuck with me. No, nothing. Who's also, who's dexterous now, motherfucker? The person who just jumped out of the way. You sprung the trap. Did it make a huge fucking noise again? I bet it did. Well, let's roll. What are we rolling? Who's rolling? What? D100. D100. I'm so great with those. All right. The D100. Here we go. Why? Why is we rolling this? Uh, 10, 10. Just a 10. A 10 and a 0. Ashley, why are you rolling? I don't know. <laughs> he said roll a D100, and I did. Well, I meant the person who, you know, needed to, who, who didn't, uh, who sprung the trap. Oh, so I'm rolling a D100. Okay, yes. I thought it was D100. you. <laughs> Miscommunication. Listen, Miss Listen somebody tells me to roll the clackety clacks, or somebody mentions rolling the clackety clacks, and I roll the clackety clacks, okay? Oh, I know you like rolling them clackety clacks. <laughs> One. I'm rolling my D10s. 
What? 71. Okay, 71. I thought you said one. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you 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 uh you were lucky this one does not hit a uh log on the other end. Uh so it just swigs back and forth for a couple of seconds before going back to rest where it was originally. Well, actually centered on the path in front of you, so now there's like a log in front of you. All right. It was only like 20 feet long, so you know, here to So here. We're, we should be free to go then. Well, I mean, it's also hanging in the path. So, I mean, you're free to go. You're just going to have to move it or walk around it. Duck under it. It's fine. I hop over it. Is that an athletics check? <laughs> It'd be an acrobatics check. <laughs> I... Y yeah, I guess. I mean, if you do it acrobatically, it's going to increase the DC, though. Dang, it's a plus six versus a plus zero. I mean, it'll help a bit. That's an 18. An 18 total? For, for, for acrobatics, 18. To acrobatics over the log, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, we're going to let it go on this one. <laughs> but I feel I like that's say, probably not high enough. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't there another trap like right behind it that I disarmed, but it's still fucking there? Well, you disarmed it. Yeah, but it could still like fucking hit her. No, that's the whole point no. of disarming. I mean, fair. So that's the di and that being the difference, you can trigger a trap, and it may be able to trigger a second time. Disarming the trap, at least in D and D standards, makes it so that it can't trigger again. Okay. Unless there's some special circumstance. I figured out that difference in another camp. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hard way. Oh, no. The oh, hard no. way full of pit traps, spike traps, poison traps, and one especially ah. painful magic ward. On a, and if I remember correctly, wasn't it on a chest that there's a reason why we don't talk about halflings? Hashtag halflings. Fuck halflings. Says the guy pl who's played the halfling in the other campaign. <laughs> Yet this one didn't catch hell because it just catch <laughs> me Where to go now? Yeah. We, we should probably we should probably continue to check for traps while we walk forward. Right. That sounds like a good thing to do. And then I walk to the middle of the group again. <laughs> All right, Sigrid, go ahead. Sigrid looks back like. Mm -hmm. Not Sigrid. He's almost dead. George is like, whatever. I'll go in front. It's like, good job, Roy. Ever since we lost Harper, it's been a been a tough thing. Client leader. I will be behind the gin. There you go, just a little bit in front of me. I'm waiting here until people pass me. I will walk beside Evitza. Alright, so George and the group of misfit toys all decide to go forward. Oops, sorry. Oh, you got me. Uh, yes, oh, okay. I did on accident. Sorry. I'm actually going to group these guys together. A lot easier for me. The mammoths are with us? I thought it was just in the jungle. Nope. Oh. Yeah, oh, he was with mammoth. us on the other map, too. Yeah, the mammoth is not... The mammoth's natural habitat is not forest, if it's a... I mean, my natural habitat's no, I mean, not like, a house, I thought, technically. I just but... thought that it was just in the forest, like, with uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So fast, like so seriously. 
I know, I'm sorry. So much going on. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, and now to the other one. Gem, you're on top of the mammoth. So is Drago. That's true. You're both like need to climb on top of the mammoth. <laughs> Yo, mama! Oh, oh, oh shit. no! Oh. It's my realtor. Man, doesn't the '90s version of you feel so bad right now? I wish. <laughs> Damn it! It didn't group them. Lame. Type, type. Oop, there we go. Or not. There we go. So they're able to go up pretty far. At which point? Uh, they get right about here. And that's when shit happened. Oh, you no. hear rustling coming from the south very quickly. What do you do? What is it? What is it? Are there bushes to hide in? Uh, there are some bushes and trees if you want to hide. Yes. I would like to try and hide. I will... I will hide behind the mammoth. Um, I'm rolling stealth, and you tell me where I can go hide. Based on the roll. Ooh. Evita has a 16, and Drago has a nat 20 for 28. Damn, that nat 20, though. So Drago just, like, lines yeah. his self into, like, the dirt slash ground while also being a zombie. It's like dope. Oh, oh he, he still he like just his hunk days. Yeah, he, he basically he becomes part of the dead. <laughs> He's kind of doing both. He just looks like he has become like the desecrated parts of the tree basically in the ground. Because it's it's My not like as green as it seems here. It's kind of like mid-fall. Nice and the doll also rolled in that 20 surprisingly. So, so they're Myself. both just like 12. Uh, you're able to kind of get into a tree. A 17, I would prefer to hide, like, in a bush if possible. You should. Rather than a tree. Should be able to, although you're just not as well hidden. And then I believe I heard, what was it, an 18 or a 16 for the other one? I got the 17, 17. gem. Oh, okay, oh, then, yeah, yeah you're I, good for that, yeah. Yeah, I, Evita had a 16. 16. And Evita should be able to hide in either a tree or a bush of her choice. Uh, she's gonna go for a bush. Gem's gonna hide in that one. I mean, I'd go for the bush, too. Ooh, da dum -ch. Hey! Alright, that's what I need right there. Do you like the bush, or, like, there we under the bush? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Gobble, gobble, wog, wog. No, I don't. Don't you hate it when there's like insects all in your bush, though? Oh, yeah. You gotta keep the clean bush. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like mistakes have been made introducing these two. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just gotta. You, you gotta keep a tidy bush. You gotta, you gotta prune Not it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that fair I switched you guys back. Oh my god! I don't know what you're thinking about. We're just talking about some foliage over here. Yeah, we're just uh, landscaping. It's fine. Some good old shrubbery. Yeah. You know, it's really great when it rains and your bush gets all wet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Twitch oh, is here Lord. to ban again. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all broke me. Woo! <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, 
George the Jin, you know, hearing the same thing you guys do and seeing you disappear, decides, oh, maybe I should do the same. And uh, he casts invisibility on himself. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Siegfried hops on Roy's back and he, like, covers him with a cloth that is his cape. Wow. And then they both disappear. They both disappear. Okay, that's fucking good stuff then. All right. Technically, that would be a cloak of invisibility. Just a really, really big cloak. Yeah, just fucking Harry Pottering this shit. That is a mammoth cloak of invisibility. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, so those guys go invisible real quick. So then I have the lowest stealth of a 12. That's fine. great. It's fine. It's great. Fine. It's fine, you're just gonna be the first to be seen in kills. It's fine. It's fine. Great. It's, fine. It's, fine. it's fine. It's okay, you right. go, right? It's fine. I have a crossbow. What was he talking about I again? forgot I had a crossbow. It's fine. Gem reminded me of my crossbow that I can absolutely grab if whatever is coming is bad. You instantly assume it's bad. But it is. It's rustling in the forest at dark time. Of course it's bad. You never know, it could be Wedge. If it's Wedge, I get my crossbow out. Wedge and Tilly's? Oh. Oh. You flipped over yesterday! Not that wrong. Tee Did you just say tee hee? Tee hee. Really? <laughs> crossbow out for real. I get my real life crossbow out. <laughs> Nobody important died. Jem has her quarter staff at the ready. I want you all to remember too that that was like earlier. I mean, it's technically kind of yesterday because it's like in the morning at this point because you guys have been running around all fucking night. Yeah, within the last twenty four hours. Yes, it was this morning. It was or this afternoon. Yeah, pretty much. It was. Yeah, well, early, you know, early. nobody important died, so it's all good. You just hear from Paez, just out of nowhere, it's like, who, what do you mean there was a foreign officiary in the in tent? Yeah, I'll go scrape him up from the elephant feet. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, yeah, so those guys go invisible, and give me just one moment to see what's going on here. I'm ready to see if it recognizes me. <laughs> uh, before stuff. initiative I'm do I know him so ready. yeah I'm fucking so ready I'm, I'm rolling them I'm, I'm waiting to throw them on the table but I'm rolling in my hand listen <laughs> clack clack I'm waiting just give me the word how many times should I be rolling with my 12 stealth they absolutely see me <laughs> anyway they could roll uh, one perception coming That's out true. of the uh, forest you see a weird looking monster of some type it's well, I don't want to recognize me if it's a monster definitely looks monsterish oh it's a splater Oh, Jem, it's coming for you, Jem. That's a monster. I guess the thin range she's hitting it. What? Don't hit it! <laughs> Animal handle that shit. I'm gonna roll to see if it recognizes me. <laughs> if it is a spider and it gets within range, she hits it. Well, That's you don't know it. what it is because you haven't checked. Because <laughs> no one ever checks. Okay. Okay, <laughs> what do I see what it is? So, what do I roll to see what so, it is? So there's perception. two... Well, perception tells you what it looks like. Knowledge will tell you... Well, intelligence or history will tell you exactly what it is if you have history in the character. But yes, perception so will I've, tell you what it looks like. Uh... I'm glad I chose perception because that's a 9 plus 5, 14. Uh, that's an 11. The Vita's not working. He doesn't care what it is. If it's attacking, it'll she'll kill it. Also, I it I rolled a seven for my percentile. It doesn't know me. It 
It doesn't know you, huh? I'm actually just trying to find its passive perception right now to see if it sees you. And... She really doesn't like me, so if she knows I'm getting attacked, oh. she, doesn't, she don't care. <laughs> so, it does not think. What you see before you seems to be a shuffling group of vines and plants and things it actually looks remarkably like uh, drago while hiding but is not and is obviously moving and kind of just like making its way through the forest towards the sound that had been made axel dms dms damn it that's gonna be two people i got a dm pick <laughs> If it gets within five feet, she hits. It's a ball of vines, Jem. Jeez. It's moving. Jem, they do that sometimes. And Jem does not like that right now. And it's just kind of like uh, shuffling about here. I Like, because this very, is where the noise was. I very, very slowly get out my crossbow and very quietly get out my crossbow. That's gonna be a stealth check. It's gonna be a stealth, you yep. said? Yep. Well, because you're trying to do it quietly, right? So fucking quietly getting out my, my so crossbow. So fucking calm. So and you're fucking... yelling at me about saying if it's within range, I hit. Uh, uh, 17. Okay. Whew, excuse me. You're excused. And I'm just waiting. If it if it comes at me, I'm gonna shoot it. Alright, so currently it's just like sniffling about here. Jiffy got a fifteen to see what it was. Uh, for intelligence or perception? Perception. She said perception. So perception, it once again is a, you know, mound of like, sh you know, shambling roots and leaves and, you know, it's, it's usually, you know, it's big though. It is as big as actually, oh shit. Once again, I gotta watch for the sizes. Oh god! Oh, ah, that's even scarier, bro! I, that's why I'd stop doing the sizes sometimes, because people can get tricked by them. It's like, oh my god, it's big, it's dangerous! I mean, it is, but... I don't shoot unless it's coming at me. Alright, let me make a roll real quick. Oh no. Itching to swing at this thing! Alright, it's it just walks off. Its passive perception wasn't good enough to find any of you. <gasps> its perception was lower than a 12? 10. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so once it walks away and is out of my sight, so it's gotta be 60 feet away. Oh, okay, then give me a moment, because there's something else going on. Sorry. No problem. I need so many more screens than I have! Make sure it got there we go.
use that. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, you begin to hear noises now coming from up here. Jesus Christ! Does our 12, does my 12 stealth still apply? Yeah, I mean, it's still, unless you want to try to rehide yourself. I would fucking love to try to rehide myself. I mean, that's up to you. The thing oh, is, please roll worse. That's the, the, that is the that's the <laughs> that's the caveat is whatever you roll is your new stealth. So, you know, chance it. Better. Twelve yeah. plus four is sixteen. That is much better. Better. Missed out on the funny to be uh, a lower, but sometimes the dice don't want to be fun. DMs. This seems like uh... all right. So Sorry, I was trying to see what I could do with this, and this is exactly what's going to be done. Uh, basically, this entire section... Give me a second. Right here. Where? Uh. Bursts into flames. What? Yep. Oh, no. Just, like, madly, like, ten-foot-high flames the entire area you can hear it you can feel it you can smell the wood and the the the, the stuff burning uh can i i'm not close enough to catch on fire right i mean that's i don't think so i mean you might be though Cool. Then can I stay where I am and try to like figure out what started it with like perception? Sure. So you're trying to look for a source of the fire? Yeah. Like what happened? That's a two plus four. So a six. Fire pretty. <laughs> Pretty fire. Fire, yeah, pretty and no, bright. That's... Ooh, fire. Ooh, bright. Like a moth to flame. That a... where we last saw, um, Genie Dude. George. It might be, yeah. That may so is that be... George just fucking around? I don't know. I mean, could, did he could. get a little excited and get a little flame? Whoa. Get a little hot? Just whoops a little, little bit out. <laughs> okay. Um. So there's just fire here. Does it do anything? I mean, it's burning. You know, seeming to burn the area that it's covering. Around to see if I see any other enemies that I may not see at the moment. Go ahead and roll or, your... Yeah. Well, what? will do that, too. I was going to say, go ahead and roll your perception. Uh, so it still stands. So it's, I don't see fucking nothing. 19 22. for Vita. 32? 22 for Jem. Okay. I need to double check one thing. Maybe not necessarily enemies, just beings around that I don't know about. And Diffie got a dirty 20 for perception. Pretty good perception rolls. Not for me. I got so a you aren't able to see anything as far as 
like people and stuff, you do see that the fucking monster -y thing is still like wandering around roughly at the edge of sight. Oh. Oh, the thing that I said, if it comes within range, I'm smacking it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Is anyone it's over close there. to me? Is anyone close to me? Like any of my party close to me? Well, if you're where you say you are on the map, then yes, me and Drago are really close. Okay. Then I kind of lean over to you and say, "Should what? What do we? What do we do now?" Well, I cannot see our our guide, so I can try and keep going, or should I wait? I'm kind of right beside the fire. It's pretty warm, so I don't want to wait here too long. And hmm. um, should we get out of cover and try and see if the gin is just hanging around? I notice if I see like the shimmer of a gin anywhere. Um, you don't notice the shimmer of a gin necessarily, but you also, you know, roll perception. A couple things. Sixteen. Okay, so a couple things. One, you don't necessarily like see the glimmer of a gin, but you do see like in the uh, foliage over here, Roy and Siegfried. Over where? One sec. All right, I forgot to group them. Oop. Gotcha. And just so like right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have just said that. You see this oh, here. And I don't see it though. When I do see that, I'm just gonna motion to this Carly oh. to get low. Sorry, get low. I do as well. Okay. So yeah. I fucking keep hiding then. And so the fire, which was here, suddenly is gone. Interesting. Fire. And instead, this shows up. Seems to be moaning and shambling and moving and all the good stuff that it's supposed to do, or that the other ones seem to do. Moaning. Do I get a sense of undead? Let's see. You know, I'm not even sure for these ones. My guess is no, but let me double check. No, yeah, no, no sense of undead. Don't worry, it will come in handy by the end of this adventure. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've sensed a few things before, so it's not like... It's true. Plus, I mean, we did fight an undead T-Rex. And I only knew about it because I sensed it, so... True. Yeah, we wouldn't have seen it otherwise. Anyway. So everyone, I assume, is going to continue hiding? Yes. Okay. So with that, a couple minutes pass. These things move around a bit. This one seems to walk off this way, and this one seems to walk this way a bit, and then just, like, disappears. 
This one's still chilling though. But yeah, that's that. Roy's gonna whisper over like, what the fuck was that? No. It's like sentient vines or whatever. Also, he was trying to whisper, but really what he did was like, what the fuck was that? What the fuck, Roy? Sorry. Shut up, Roy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, we're always like, I think we might be okay. At which point, uh, George pops back up. And he's like, oh shit, that was close. Good job hiding everybody. Thank you. I have to say, I was rather impressed. Except for by you. You almost got us all caught. Except for who? You know who you are. And then George just walks off with that last comment. Okay. And springs a trap. <laughs> and springs a trap. No, he, I'm, I'm just kidding. George. I'm just kidding. George did not spring another trap. <laughs> I was going to say. It was just the four, I promise. <laughs> and we've done it. We, we did it, everyone. We made it through the forest. Hooray. Ooh. The forbidden Ooh. forest has been, has been conquered. Yeah, that was a stressful <laughs> forest, right? Yeah. Why do we live by that? Why do we have our tents there? Yeah.